Mohamed Nawab from UCLA Cardiology. In 1994, we reported in JCI that HDL under inflammatory pressure under the acute phase, during the acute phase, can become dysfunctional. This could be due to the lipid modification or protein modification. We subsequently developed an assay to determine the functionality of HDL. Can it prevent the LDL oxidation? In 2000, with Dr. Aaron Thromeyer, J.R. Sigrids, and colleagues in Alabama, we developed an 18 amino acid peptide that mimicked APOA1, the main protein of HDL. The original 18 amino acid peptide was able to mimic some of the functions of APOA1. We added two more phenylalanine, total of four phenylalanines, therefore calling it 4F. And preclinical studies were conducted, showed that lesion is reduced, inflammatory pressure is reduced, and from mouse models, we went to monkeys, African green, and repeated those experiments. And with Dr. Dan Rader at University of Pennsylvania, 150 patients with atherosclerosis, coronary artery disease, were given orally this 18 amino acid peptide 4F and published in JLR efficacy and uh, lack of any adverse effects by the peptide. Subsequently, with Novartis, another 150 patients in the United States, Europe, Israel, and South Africa were placed on sub-Q or IV treatment of the peptide, and again, the lack of side effects was reported. At this time, we have expressed the peptide in edible plants such as tomato in order to be able to produce it large quantities with lower costs, and we have reported that. Interestingly, past two years, we have come to the realization that intestine plays a very important role in systemic inflammation. Surprisingly, peptide given orally or administered by subcutaneous route have the same effects on reducing serum amyloid A, <clears throat> reducing cholesterol on atherogenic diet, Western diet, reducing triglycerides, and increasing HDL. We think intestine is a very important site of the action of the peptide, and it could be that it's the, partially the microbiota of the intestine interacting with the intestinal cell that plays this role. So we are excited about these new findings, and we have looked at the genes that are being upregulated and downregulated by the Western diet and reversed by transgenic tomato. And we're looking forward to increasing the efficiency, the expression, and into other edible plants.